Hey, what's up, Stringlings? Today we're going to be talking about the brand new Goddess Chorus Pedal from Mayfly Audio. Let's check it out. As you know, Mayfly Audio puts out some of my favorite effects pedals uh, in the boutique line. They just, they look amazing, first of all, and we know guitar players play with their eyes. That may or may not be a fact. I think it, I think it very much is a fact, uh, but the reality is they're great looking pedals. Uh, they look amazing on a pedal board and they look like you really know what you're doing, but I will tell you something, Trevor May definitely knows what he's doing because these pedals are phenomenal and I've done a bunch of them um, already in demos on the channel here and we've got still a few more to go. In fact, we're giving three of them away as part of the uh, second prize package for the Great Canadian Pedal Board in 2023, so keep an eye out for that. I'm going to demo that as a, as a group of pedals um, just to show you you know, how they play together and what we're doing with them. But today I want to talk about uh, Trevor's brand new release, The Goddess. Now, uh, this pedal is unlike any chorus pedal I've seen. Uh, it actually has combined two separate rates of chorus. Um, on the A side, just a standard, very nice, uh, rich, thick chorus. Standards is probably not the right word because it, it is clean, it's pristine, and it sounds so rich and wonderful. Uh, the chorus on the B side is a much more um, kind of aggressive uh, chorus effect. It's much faster, it's much deeper, it almost comes off like a vibrato effect, which is very similar to the vibrato on the sketchy Zebra uh, phase shifter and vibrato. Um, not quite as extreme as that, but somewhere in between. And when you go into it with this blend control, uh, you can actually dial in how much of which side you're going to do. So um, he set it up so that the main bypass switch is over here on facing the pedal on the left. Um, and that's the main on off switch. We'll go over all of this down on the desktop, of course. Uh, and then you can switch on this alternate side. Uh, it doesn't work independently of the main chorus. It's more like a, uh, it's more like a topping. Right, it's more, it's more like a dressing on the on the chorus salad, but um, when you hear this thing, you're, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. How cool this thing is! Uh, it is uh, pr probably one of my favorite choruses that I've seen, um, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to show it to you. Let's go check it out. Okay, we're coming down to the desktop here. We've got the goddess lined up, ready to rock, and I am playing once again on the. Steve Barrett Custom Lunotar with my Pig City pickups, um, as well going into Neural DSP's Soldano SLO 100 plugin on Reaper. And I'm using just a very, very clean uh, pedal platform preset, uh, both for the alliteration uh, and for the fact that uh, I've been using this one quite a bit. I actually set it up specifically so it would be just pretty well as flat as we can get it. Uh, this is the clean sound. the bridge and the clean sound on the neck and if we go to single coils on the bridge and a single coil at the neck as well as a nice quacky kind of middle sound very cool so the way this pedal works uh, it is actually uh, blended down the middle but you you can choose whether you want to run only the main chorus on the what they call the A side or yeah A side, um, or include and mix in this sort of slightly wilder B side chorus, um, and this blend control in the middle allows you to balance which way uh, or how much of each you want to put in, and you can see it has both uh, indicator lights flashing the tempo. Uh, pretty much all the time. I, I've talked about this with, with Trevor. To me, it's a little bit distracting. Uh, I would put, you know, maybe a, a switch or something just so that you have the option to only turn it on when the pedal is engaged. Um, because to me, that looks like the pedal is engaged and you have to remember that it isn't unless this light is on. So in this instance, this is the main on off switch for the pedal. Okay. And this only triggers the B side of the pedal when this is engaged. So right now we're in bypass and that's where this clean sound is coming from. Um, once again on the neck. Okay, pretty straightforward sound. Now we're right at 12 o'clock. I'm not going to engage the B side just yet. 
and listen to this depth of chorus. It's, it's quite lovely. Right, it's very nice. It's a very nice sounding uh, chorus tone. And I've tried this a little bit with, with some uh, with some delay and some reverb. You know, maybe we'll get a little bit of a mixed demo uh, down the road a bit. Right now, I just want to give you just what this pedal does. If we take the depth all the way down, not all the way down, yeah, all the way down. It just thickens up the tone a little bit. Just a little bit of waver. If we turn the blend all the way over to this side, it almost acts like we're turning up the volume on that side of the effect, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, <clears throat> we take the rate down, we'll take the blend, I'm sorry, the depth back to the middle and the rate a little bit slower. Oh, sorry. Slow the speed down a bit. It's just a really great, really, really good sound. I, I like it a lot. This is, honestly, it's one of my uh, favorite chorus pedals that I've played in a very long time. It just has a really pristine clean tone. It doesn't color the sound a lot. <clears throat> it doesn't change the EQ. It doesn't do anything to the to the tone. Uh, if we look at tone as being something on an EQ scale, right? <clears throat> now things get weird when we put this B side on because the B side is a little bit more extreme. <clears throat> And I'll turn this control over so we get mostly B-side. At a higher speed, it becomes almost a, a vibrato. On its own, it's kind of a special effect if you just want that. It's it's pretty out there. But when you mix it back with the main side back down the middle, and then take this all the way over. Now we get some kind of crazy detuning effect. Leave the depth. Now we get that slow um, modulation that you get with the chorus with a little bit of that almost uh, vibrato y uh, pitch bending effect. I think that's a very, very nice effect. And again, if we take that down just a little bit more, and let's take the speed down.
to me that's just really very rich and very very full of character <laughs> So it's almost like having two different rates of, of chorus or two different rates of tremolo um, at, at different depths. You get almost a stereotype effect with them just being running mono into the into the signal chain. This is a very, very, very cool effect. And I, I hope you get a chance to check it out because, um, yeah, it just to me, that just sounds really, really nice. <laughs> So that is the Mayfly Audio Goddess Chorus Pedal. It is a dual chorus. It sounds fantastic. It gives you a ton of flexibility, thick, rich tones, um, really kind of spacey vibe tones, uh, just a lot going on in this pedal. And one that I, I definitely think, I'm gonna link directly to uh, Trevor's website below so you can you can get some more demos there's there are a few other demos on his website as well that you can check out uh to hear it in a mix and some various other uh combinations but um for now i just want to say thank you very much to trevor for sending this over uh trevor at mayfly audio and thank you very much for hanging out with me today uh, i hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did like it please remember to like the video and subscribe and don't forget to think about becoming a member of this channel there are a few extra perks and it just kind of helps me push this content out a little bit more regularly uh, and in addition to that make sure that you watch the channel for the announcements for the great canadian pedal board the draw is currently underway today is may the 4th so may the 4th be with you and uh, the draw is actually happening on July 1st. So this thing has already been exploding and there are a lot of people interested in getting in there. Um, so make sure that you get in, get your entries in. If you're in Canada, the uh, grand prize pedal board is worth about $6,500 Canadian and altogether there's about $8,000 worth of prizes. So there's lots going on, uh, lots of demos, lots of content coming out in the next couple of months. So keep an eye out for that. So that's it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed this and please have yourselves a great weekend.